This morning we woke up in Boracay to start our journey to Cebu. Our bags were packed in a bus to get to the boats and then we all climbed onto a speedboat to take us to the mainland. We waved goodbye to Boracay Island and we all jumped into a bus to get to the airport. Then we checked in our bags and we had about an hour until we started to board our plane. So we got a coffee and I started editing some videos for you to watch. Then we got on a bus and drove to our airplane. We then boarded the airplane. We took our seats and we got ready to take off and ready to arrive. We are here in Cebu. <laughs> Hi, thank you, bye. <laughs> Hi, thank you. <laughs> wow, that's so cool. We're here. Oh, it's warm. <laughs> so just got here, we're just heading down now to collect our bags. Pretty easy flight, less probably than an hour, less than an hour. We are so hungry, we haven't eaten yet. But first, bags. <laughs> so we're just in the airport now. It's actually a pretty cool airport. It's a lot bigger than the one we just came from, that's for sure. Um, but now we're just finding a way to get picked up, either from probably from Grab. Apparently this is like a big, big city. I don't know much about Cebu. So our grab just dropped us off at the front of our hotel. We're staying in the prime something. We're just trying to find it at the moment, but there is so much going on. This is so much busier and bigger than I kind of like expected at all. Um, it took ages to get here and I thought it was quite a small city, but it's not. <laughs> I think we're right under this Starbucks or near this Starbucks or something too, but it's really busy here. There's a lot going on. There's street vendor stalls on the side of the road over there. It's really cool so far, good vibes. This is cute. I like this. This was a cute room. Okay, so we just checked in here at Prime View Suites. And honestly, it's really cute. I really like it. The bathroom's really cute. The tiles are cute. I like the hexagonal marble type thing. When we're checking in, she told us that they're like brand new. I think they're like a month or so old. And it looks really new. It feels really new. The only thing is that the rooms on the like level that you come up to anyway, come off the lobby. But I'm still sitting in the room and I can't hear anyone out in the lobby anyway. So I don't think that's a bad thing. And then obviously there's like the levels above that. But this is cute, it's new, it's fresh. I like it, it was kind of cheap. We got it online at about 50 Australian dollars a night. We're here for three nights. And so far, I really, really like it. So that's a plus, that's a big plus. And it's right in front of like Starbucks, like four other coffee shops. It feels like it's in the middle of things. So, but I don't know that yet. So when we go out shortly, I'll let you know if that's the case, but I really like this one. So the most requested thing we've been told to do is try lechon. So we're here at Aya's lechon. We're gonna try it for the first time. I've never had it before. Let's go in and let's see what all the fuss is about. Let's go. Okay, so as soon as we entered, we saw them like chop up all the roast pork. It looked really nice. We ordered our lechon. We asked them sort of what they recommend as well. This one too, I super, super. We got that and we came upstairs. It's big, it's open air, it's loud. We're right on the road. We can see cars going past. You probably can't even hear me that well. There's music going over there. It is a vibe out here, <laughs> that's for sure. Cebu sounds and feels really lively right now, straight off the bat. We've got the plate of what we ordered. Not much of the meat, but apparently that's because it's really expensive. So you're not gonna get a whole bunch, obviously. You would have to pay for more. Plus, we only got a serving for one person, and we're just gonna share it. But there's a whole lot of rice. <laughs> that's the probably biggest portion of rice I've ever seen in my life. Not only that, but it comes with achara, which is like fermented papaya. It looks like yellow noodles or yellow worms. <laughs> and a little bit of like gravy type stuff as well. So Cebu apparently has the best lechon there is. Okay, so I grabbed a whole chunk of the pork of the lechon and a whole piece of the skin. It looks so crispy. It looks like crackling, but different. That looks delicious if you ask me. I am a thief of crackling at Christmas time, so. Ooh. I don't know if you heard that crunch. That's so crunchy. That is. That is delicious. Oh, the flavor in my mouth is so nice. The pork itself, like the meat is so soft, but the skin is like crackling. It's salty, it's crunchy, it's flavorful. It's really good, like really good. Like really good. Got the skin and the meat together. That tastes significantly better than I thought it would. I think that is delicious no matter what country you come from or whatever food you've eaten before. Let's try some fermented papaya. Yep. 
Oh, I smell it. It's like very like soury. Let's try it all together. There's a lot going on. Maybe too much of it. <laughs> I definitely think you're only meant to have a sliver or two and I had about 25, but I think I prefer it without because I can taste like all of the pork. I'm not someone to add sauce and things to my dishes usually, so I generally just always get the full taste of what something's like. I just like the pork. I think the pork steals the show. I think the lechon is just delicious. And apparently different places that you go in the Philippines have different spices, different flavors. Like it changes just a little bit depending on where you go. Mmm, it's spicy. Like almost so flavorful. It's overwhelming. So he just put a little bit of the sauce with more rice, more plain rice, and a little bit of the pork just so I can try the sauce. Oh, there's... I don't like that. Really? I don't like that. It's like a sour, spicy taste, which are two things I don't like. I'm not a fan of the sauce. Tell me in the comments, are you plain lechon or you sauce lechon? Because I'm not enjoying that sauce. <laughs> so just for reference, the lechon was 144 pesos, Filipino pesos, with two Coke Zeros included in that. But right now we're going to go check out Fort San Pedro and then also a couple other historical sites, maybe some markets as well, for our first day in Cebu. Is it Cebu or Cebu? Cebu or Cebu? I'll probably switch between saying the two. Tell me what it is in the comments below. I'm sorry. I saw people say one or the other, so it's not my fault. Tell me what, tell me the right way in the comments. Let's go. So we took a grab across Cebu City, basically, and ended up in a part of Cebu we've never actually been in yet. Um, obviously, it's the first time we've been to Cebu, but it is a lot different to where we've dropped our stuff and started unpacking our things. So this site is called Magellan's Cross. It marks the site where over 500 years ago, Christianity basically started here in the Philippines. So the cross that you see inside this big structure was actually where they used to do like the first baptisms and everything like that as well. I'm not an expert on this subject by any means. It's very windy right now. <laughs> Please leave in the comments below any additional information that you have um, that you know. Um, as you know, my channel is about discovering things for the first time. So I might not get the information completely correct, but I'm always up to learning about it. So let me know in the comments anything else that you know about it. But from what I know as well is that the cross in the middle has actually been coated with something because back in the day over time, people have been like, this place is so sacred and they've been taking bits of the cross off over the last however many amount of years. So they coated it so that they couldn't be cut off and they couldn't be taken away from the original site. Um, and then apparently the big structure was made around it, maybe like 50 or something years later after that. So I'm reading the plaque that has a little bit of information about it. And it's saying that the king and the queen of Cebu and their sons and daughters with 800 other people were the first people to be baptized. So there are a lot, a lot of candles here around the outside um, of the plaque. Um, I'm assuming that's like an offering. Um, let me know if that's not correct in the comments, but everyone seems to be like praying as they put one down. This chick is the best. She's a little girl and she's on the hustle. Everyone wants photos here. So she's like getting everyone's photos and she like takes pretty good photos. Everyone's taking her and asking her to take all their photos. She's on the hustle and then obviously for an exchange of a couple of pesos or whatnot. And then she's like, stand here, <laughs> yeah, she's like, you stand there. You do this. <laughs> she's like saying on the line, on the line. I've noticed in Cebu there's a lot of, a lot more sort of street beggars than there was in Manila and obviously yeah. that's going to happen all over everywhere in the world there's that sort of stuff happening but like this is the first time I've sort of seen someone kind of on like a really cool hustle she's doing a good she's job doing awesome. she's I'm doing a good job. little entrepreneur over here well I appreciate done it. So we've just walked literally next to where that structure was and then we're in the thing called the Basilica. What have you just learnt? They built the church here because they found a an imagery of like baby Jesus basically. Oh. They tend to look at that as a sacred site. So this is a sacred site because that's why they found it. It says that the church was knocked down and rebuilt several times over the years as well, which is pretty cool and it's always been in the same site. Magellan's Cross and the Basilica back there right now and we're just heading on the way to the San Pedro San Pedro? Yep. We're on the way there now. So this plaza has changed names and everything over the time that it's been 
like taken by different nationalities and different kinds of people but it's now called the plaza independencia <laughs> independencia which means obviously it represents the independence the philippines now have and the freedom from um, the colonization that they went through at the very end of this and it's just closed we can still get a look at the oh front no. of it they've just closed oh no we they've missed just it. closed the doors we'll see if it's a good floor maybe we can get inside anyway perfect okay let's go have a quick look because it did just close we watched it we want to get to carbon market okay, but first we're going to go check out the floor So I tried to go in but they were closed. <laughs> so unfortunately we just missed it for today. But it's beautiful here. There's people, there's kids running around out the front. There's people sitting on this grass like a picnic. Um, there's greenery, there's trees, there's hedges. It's just really cool here. I'm getting like a really cool vibe. So we're gonna go and try ahead now to a market. Um, I think we might get a grab there or walk. I'm not sure how far it is. Um, but so far I am like a little bit intimidated with Cebu um, may, mostly just the uh, like people on the side of the road and things like that but I, I think that's just you know I can see that there's a massive charm about this place as well and I think that's why everyone says to come here and everyone says to have a look because you can see why it's so special um, but it is a little bit intimidating in some points I will say that just being honest I think the more we discover this city the more we'll love it I really like it more in the last three hours than I have yeah when we first got here as well. It's awesome. I right, go this way and we walk about 500 meters and we'll get to Carbon Market. Hey, <laughs> it is so lively through here, but there's so many people here. There's lots of obviously things to buy on this side, um, but we're just on the way walking through to the market. <laughs> this is cool. It's so lively. I just can't get over it. It's a little bit later in the day. It's feeling like there's lots of beer ping, there's lots of life, there's lots of people, lots of bikes around here. There's just a lot going on in this part. Hi! Hi! <laughs> oh, Josie, nice to meet you. <laughs> hey, my friend. Hi! Hello. Hi! 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 <laughs> this is cool. Everyone's so friendly. Everyone's saying hello. It's really busy here. Like, really, really busy. There's cars, there's bikes, there's people. Hello! <laughs> there's a lot of here. <laughs> a lot of squash. Oh, squash! Pumpkin? <laughs> pumpkins, pumpkins, more pumpkins. Thank you. <laughs> Lots of pumpkins there if you want pumpkins. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. Can you say like and subscribe? Yeah. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> well, there you go. Can you say like and subscribe to you? No. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> okay, there is a lot of going, there's a lot going on, there's a lot of people, high energy, everyone say hello to me. <laughs> hey, oh, carrying tables. <laughs> this is insane, well, I think we've just arrived at the market. Um, there's a lot. There's a lot here. There's watermelons, there's umbrellas, there's an old building here as well. There's a lot of people and hopefully a lot of food. I'm not sure. I haven't had a chance to look yet. Well, there's a lot. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's giving like Klong Toei vibes from in Thailand. I'll, um, I'll leave that in the description bar below or on the screen too. This is cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, whoop, oh, that scared me. <laughs> so, I don't know. I can't see much food here, to be honest. But we haven't headed in. There's a little bit of like bananas hanging up there. There's a whole bunch of um, these things getting carted around everywhere with water and everything like that. But I'm not sure where to go here. Hey. Hi. Hey. <laughs> All right, we made it. Hi, thank you. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, thank you. Thank you, though. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> oh, he's eating it. Oh. Yeah. I'm just chilling. Playing. <laughs> oh. 
That is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> that is so cute. This is insane. There is so many fruits, so many vegetables, so many people. This is crazy. So many bikes. There's a lot of, we've missed, we just walked through the whole thing. I don't know what we're getting at this point. I'm not sure. It's a little bit overwhelming. I think it's like a lot of markets we've seen in other Southeast Asian countries where you have like a main street that was probably the original market and it's just expanded from Coming there. off that, yeah. So I don't know what we'll find in what areas. It looks like a lot of fresh fruit and vegetables. Fresh produce. Which most markets tend to be. And then things are built from there. <laughs> this is like the most... I've had lots of reactions in the Philippines to oh, yeah, having this a camera. The most. This is the most. Every like second person wants to be in the vlog, which is awesome. It's <laughs> so, so cool. In Australia, even you would never get that. No, you know what? In Australia, people just go, oh. People would be like, you're lame for vlogging. <laughs> <laughs> and they're it's so cool here. This is awesome. So let's keep walking through. I'm not sure if we'll find any food or anything, but this has been a great experience, regardless whether we found food or not. This has been awesome. We might be a bit too late for street food. Maybe it's a lunchtime thing. It's yeah. about five o'clock now. I love all the puppies. If I could like pet them all and keep them all, I definitely would. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> 90% of my life is reminding Josie that street dogs sometimes have diseases and you can't pat and kiss them all. Yes, I can. <laughs> oh, here's another one. Hey, puppy. Oh. oh, that was so cute. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hello, my friend. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was houses upon houses up there. They were built up, and it looked like they were overlooking the water the other way. It looked like it was in prime real estate. Oh yeah, shot. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. Pressure, pressure. Wait, there's more. Oh! Oh! Start, start, start. 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 Oh, that's it. Let's go. Oh, you show me. Oh, you're better than him. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, they're better than you. <laughs> they're so cool. <laughs> that was awesome. Michael is obsessed with basketball and the fact that he just missed two of them. He's like really pretty the funny. The hoop was smaller than the ball. <laughs> okay, <on>. okay, excuses. <laughs> I can't believe we we're just walking down the street and they were like, "Can't play basketball." That is the best. A guy tried to hand me his baby. <laughs> I didn't want to hold him. I was going to say he's not gonna. He probably wouldn't trust him with that. <laughs> this is insane. There's people everywhere. There's cars everywhere. Look at all that. There's chopping up food over there. Wow, this is crazy. Sorry. Hey, <laughs> Sorry. Hi. Hi. <laughs> See? This is the best! Really? <laughs> what is it? What's that? Smells like fishy. Maybe tuna? I'm not sure. Tell me what that is in the comments if you know. So these stores. I know, I know. Look in the back. <laughs> oh, <it's> so cute. <laughs> this is the cutest thing. So there's a whole bunch of stalls and stands, a lot with shoes. There's heaps of shoes. Those look like like almost used soccer shoes, but obviously they're selling. Maybe they are used. Perfect. And then you've got like flip flops, croc looking things. There's a whole bunch of jeans down here. There's sports bras over here. There is, I have never seen this many people. This is, I did not expect this to happen today. That's full of puppies. <laughs> so this is like the section of used clothes. So much like op shops or Goodwill in America, these are called UK UK or UK UK. What that means is, where that comes from, is a lot of this stuff is donated from like Goodwill stores in the UK and America and the US. So UK UK store oh, means <laughs> the United Kingdom, the UK, UK UK. That's oh. where all this stuff comes from. It's all used clothes. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you look, you look. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hello, Hello Manzi. Manzi. How much? 30. 30. 20. 30, 20. 25. 25. Oh, I've only got 25. 25, yes. I'll get a calamansi. There you go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. 
nowhere near as sodary. If anything, it feels more, it feels more juicy. I actually like this one better because I don't really like fizzy drinks normally. I like this one. It's like more like flat, like juice, like water. I like this one. So as you can see, lovely people, and we just had such a good experience but just like traveling in any other country in any country in all of the world just keep your wits about you and just watch your things as well but we had nothing but a good experience and obviously a fun one as you saw the filipinos here are the perfect mix of friendly and outgoing that's for sure just like me so that's probably why i feel like i fit in here <laughs> <laughs> they even bring me out of my shell and i'm an introvert yeah so. everyone's so outgoing so friendly happy to jump in for anything happy to say hello it is a really friendly and uh, welcoming and inviting culture i found so if you like this video where i checked out this market you're gonna like the one in manila it's on the screen for you now to watch after this one when you're done Make sure you like and subscribe if you like my videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!